Hey friend, are you struggling to find a referee for your college application? No worries, in this video I will tell you all about it and give you a complete algorithm as well as a letter that you can send to your potential referee. Let's go! Most likely, you think that all you need is someone who just thinks good of you. Nope, that's not enough. In my years of studying, I've written dozens of requests to receive a recommendation and actually also the first drafts of those recommendations. I felt that my experience can help many people with this process because actually, at least for me, this part of finding and asking a referee to provide a recommendation was the most stressful part of my college applications. So what you need? Someone who will actually agree with you, have an institutional email and write a good recommendation using your draft or by themselves. So let's see how to do that. Okay, agreeing to help and writing a good letter is understood. But what is that email thing? Well, that, my friend, is the main hurdle, especially for a person applying from a non-English speaking country. In my country, most people do not have or at least do not use their institutional email. And what is an institutional email? It's actually a work email which is provided with a domain, like that little thing in the end of the email address, which actually has most likely the abbreviation of the institutional name. So what is the solution to that problem? My life hack with you would be to check the articles of your potential referee. So there is most likely like a database of those articles and you can just go there and check the articles where the referee is the first author. And in such articles, the author, the first author has to provide uh, an email and that is most likely their work email. And if they have an institutional email, they will most definitely put it in there. There. So if they provided some Gmail or Yahoo account, maybe you should think of a different person. Okay, I got the criteria, but how to think of someone in the first place? First of all, don't try to reach for the stars. You do not need a world-known scientist or a TV star to get into even the most prestigious universities. <laughs> Many of my referees were not PhDs. Maybe they were PhD students or not even connected to those free letters at all. <laughs> so relax, breathe in and out, and take your time to make a list of all the people who you can potentially contact. Give yourself space. Don't try to get it done in one sitting. Start with several names or even one and come back to the list whenever another name came in your mind. You will be amazed how far a little patience with your memory can take you. If you're struggling to come up with names using that list method, then you should look at your schedules, maybe your college, university schedules and all the subjects that you took and think about what people can I contact, whom I communicate with more, who may have had a good impression of me. I bet this will definitely help you increase your list. And to overcome the fear of asking someone to be a referee, I made a template letter for you to use. Now you're all set for the final algorithm that we discussed in the beginning. So, people who know you in academical or work environment, people that are patient and can say good things about you, check whether they have an institutional email, and send them a modified letter template via any contact method you have. Fabulous! I really hope this tutorial helped you. Subscribe for more tips. Goodbye!